What you see on your screen right now is a television and yours doesn't have enough HDMI ports to connect your things. Whether it's a permanent gaming console or a mobile gaming console or one of your streaming devices or a DVD player. Hi, welcome to our channel all about home electronics where in this video we're going to show you how this little box might be the solution to not enough HDMI ports on your expensive flat screen TV. We'll begin right after this. Now some viewers are going to find that the HDMI switch is a perfect solution for their particular situation and some viewers are going to find the limitations of the switch to not be acceptable. For example, yeah it'll do 4K and it'll do uh, UHD but it'll only do 60 frames per second. So if you're a competitive game player with your gaming console or you have to have 120 frames per second, this device is not going to be the device you want to use. Now a couple of things to note with this particular package before you decide to go out and shop for one, it does not come with any HDMI cables. And as well, oddly, it doesn't even come with the two AAA batteries required to make the remote control work. Aside from that, the setup of the HDMI switch is pretty straightforward. On the back panel of the HDMI switch that we're showing you right here, you see four HDMI ports. And then on the front, you see a fifth HDMI port. Now, one of those HDMI ports connects to the television that you're going to be setting this up with. That leaves you with four HDMI ports from which to connect an external device. If you're wondering whether or not this supports ARC, the answer is yes. You might not be able to see it on your screen, but just above our index finger here is an HDMI port labeled ARC. The remote control that comes with the HDMI switch naturally will control the switch itself, but you can also program it using the included instructions and codes to control up to three additional devices. So regardless of the brand of television that you're using or streaming device like all the ones we're showing here or perhaps a soundbar, the remote control can be programmed to control certain functions of those various devices. Now the remote won't replace a device remote in its entirety, but some of the more common functions like the play button, the pause button, the mute button, the volume button, etc. can be controlled by this remote. So rather than having multiple remote controls, you can narrow it down to just one. But you don't have to use the remote control because on the top of the HDMI switch itself is a select button. So if you don't want to use the supplied remote control, you can simply come up here, press the select button to toggle between one of the HDMI ports on the back or on the front. We're going to demonstrate the switch, but first we need to do a quick basic setup. Now before we begin, we need to point out that with the remote control, it's direct line of sight. You can't conceal the HDMI switch behind your TV or behind a wooden cabinet. It won't work. The remote control must have a direct line of sight to the device in order to work. Now if you want to actually switch between the various inputs on the switch itself, you have to press the correct sequence of buttons on the remote control that comes with this kit. You have to press this button labeled SWCH, switch. Now the remote control will control the HDMI switch. In order to change the inputs and watch the lights on the bottom of the switch, you use the channel button on the remote. For our demonstration, we use the PlayStation 5, we use the Nintendo Switch, and we use the Google Chromecast. Now, as you've maybe already noticed, the HDMI switch has one HDMI port on the front facing the switch itself. We decided to connect the Nintendo Switch dock to that particular port because we feel like the dock is a little bit more portable than a permanent console like the PS5. Now the final connection that we're going to make is between the switch and our television itself. And as you know from earlier in the video, our example television only has one HDMI port. Maybe your TV only has two HDMI ports and this switch would benefit you. Looking more closely at the back of the switch, this one port right here is labeled output. It's imprinted on the plastic shell of the switch itself. This is where we're going to connect the television.
Now that's up to five HDMI cables, power cords, it's a lot of wiring, so you'll definitely spend some time organizing the cabling. Okay, we powered everything up, including the television, and as you can see, the Nintendo Switch image is showing on the screen. It's plugged into HDMI switch port number one. Now let's switch ports. Now in HDMI switch port number two is the PS5, and let's move to the next port. And finally, in HDMI switch port number three is our Google Chromecast. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below the video. Here are a few video links we hope you might find useful. If you like this video or it helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe free to our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.